So Life Hall's been out for a while. We've got our hands on most of the exotics. People are finally finding out what's good, what's bad, what's a meme, what's good for PvP. I'm having fun with all of them. But there are actually two that we don't know about yet. One of which is if we go to our collections. In the kinetic slot, there is an unknown hidden exotic. And there's probably an exotic you've already seen that isn't in the game yet that most people are probably touting goes into this spot. But that's actually wrong, and I can tell you why. So for the exotic that you have probably seen before, if we are in our collections and we go to weapon ornaments down to glaives, we have this. It is the Vex Scalibur. It's blue. Looks pretty cool. And this is the ornament that we can see. Obviously, unintended. I've seen a lot of stuff about people calling this the raid exotic because it's speculated that we'll be going into the vex net for certain parts of the raid against spoilers obviously you shouldn't be clicking on this video if you're not wanting spoilers nezarek however my main piece of evidence comes from that symbol right on the vex caliber you see that that is the season of defiance symbol to compare that if we go to the witch queen raid exotic the vow the disciple raid exotic collective obligation that is the Witch Queen symbol, not the Season of the Risen symbol like it's on Dead Messenger. So if that's the case, the Raid Exotic will likely have the Lightfall logo like it is on Final Warning right here. And to continue it a little bit, if we look at the direction Vexcalibur is facing, it starts in the bottom left, ends in the bottom right with the edge of the weapon. If we compare that, Heavy Weapons start in the bottom left, end in the top right. Energy Weapons as well start in the bottom left, end in the top right, just like all of our other glaives. And then finally, the Kinetic Slot starts in the bottom right, ends in the top left it just wouldn't fit so without a shadow of a doubt vex caliber is not this unknown exotic and it is not the raid exotic and for the last little bit i've heard some people say it's going to be heavy exotic but winter's bite is just much larger so i don't think it will be i think it'll be a normal energy exotic now as for what the raid exotic or the unknown exotic will be we have a couple options starting in the promotional art the hunter is holding this hand cannon now, we haven't seen this before, so it's definitely not off the list to be the Raid Exotic because it has a pretty unique silhouette, which is common amongst Raid Exotics. However, I think there is a better option. In the Strand trailer, we see this. Now, this is a funky looking gun. It looks like a thumbtack. I don't even know. Now, if you showed me both of these and asked me which one is the exotic, I would definitely point at this one. The other hand cannon we saw is likely just a raid weapon, but this I'll put my money on being the raid exotic. It also looks a bit more menacing, so more fitting for a Nezarek weapon, I'd say. And that's what I've got. We've got two exotics coming to the game, both of which, well, one we know where it's coming from, the other, no clue, maybe even a secret mission coming later in the season. I've got my Fingers crossed for that. But what I've called out as being the Raid Exotic, I'm really excited to see what it is. Especially since it's in the Kinetic slot, there's a chance that it's a Strand weapon, which we need more of those. So what do you guys think? Do you believe the evidence that I'm putting in front of you? Do you think this thumbtack firearm thing is going to be the Raid Exotic? And are you guys excited for the Raid coming this Friday? And to copy a very popular YouTube channel, Mylan Games, the Lore Destiny guy, if you'd like to support this video, this channel, and you can't think of a comment, type in Nezarex Thumbtack. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you around.